when you have a number 4 up here for the index, that means you're going to be finding 4 equal factors that equal this number here, the radicand. And you can also find it when you're using variables raised to, raised to a certain exponent. And so let's just go ahead and write out a little equation just to help us so we can kind of visualize what we mean by four equal factors. So what number that appears, it's the same number that appears four different times will equal x to the twelfth power. So let's just write in three different little multiplication signs. So it's going to be one, two, three, four numbers, equal factors. Well, if you notice that if you have x to the third power and you kept timesing it, as long as it had the same base, if you know your exponent rules, these numbers just add together. So 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 would equal 12. So this number right here is the number up top. That's, that's what you're searching for. That's your equal factor that you search for to solve this. There's another little trick when you have exponents risen to a certain power. And that is if you simply take this exponent up here and you divide it by the index number, that will become your new exponent for this base. So that means you should have x 12 divided by 4. And 12 divided by 4 is 3, so this just becomes x to the third, which is the same, the same solution we had over here when we did it the more difficult way. So that's the rule, is that if you have a certain variable raised to a power, you can take that power and you can divide it by the index and then you'll have your new power. Now, for fractions like this, it might be sort of difficult to think, well, how am I supposed to take um, a square root of a fraction like this. It's very helpful to think of, and you can do this, the top as one square root and the bottom as a separate one. That's completely allowed. You're allowed to do that, separate them like that. These are a lot easier to figure out. So since there's nothing written here, the index must be two. So how many equal fact, or two, there's two equal factors. What are they, or what equal factor times twice, multiplied twice equals 25. We know it's 5 from an earlier problem. So that's the bottom. And then the top, what equal factor multiplied twice or is, or at least appears twice as a factor, equals 100. This one we haven't done before, so let's just sort of look at it. So 100. Something times itself equals 100. 10 times 10 equals 100. So this is 10 on top. 10 over 5, you can simplify this because we know that 5 goes in, 5 goes into 10 two times. It just becomes 2. You don't have to write the 2 over 1. It's 2. So remember that when you're faced with a fraction like this, don't be afraid to separate the top to one to one um, separate radical sign and the bottom with another separate radical sign. So like this, easily to divide and conquer.